All right, it's the end of the month. It's now September 5th. It's time to check out our stats and see how much money we made and see if my sites have been affected by the new helpful content update that Google just released. And as I was looking at it, I actually think one of my sites was affected by the algorithm and that's gonna be my mega case study site, but I'm not gonna be sharing that on this video. You'll have to stay tuned till next week to see that update video, but we'll check out all my other sites and see if they were also affected. So this is site number one and it actually had an 8.94% increase. This site has been going kind of down for a little while, so it's nice to see that it's starting to come back up a little bit. And you can see the search console over the last 16 months. You can see it's slowly been going down and been kind of staying steady from here and slightly going back up. So hopefully it can come back up to where it used to be, but I'm just kind of letting the site sit and working on my other sites. And the site made $452.92. I had a few articles left that needed to be edited, so my editor got those done, and so those were my total expenses. So the net profit for this month was $333. So you see it's come down a long ways. It used to make around $1,300, and now it's barely making $500. So this next website is the one that I bought from Carl a while ago, and it's actually looking pretty good. It had a 144% increase from 1470 up to 3594 Looking at the search console, you can see that it's, this site's been kind of going all over the place. Huge spikes here, spikes here, then it's kind of been dropping, then going up, then dropping, then going up, then dropping. And now it's gone up and it's stayed up for a while now, so hopefully it can stay around this level. Still not where it used to be when I bought the site. It's a lot better than it being down here, so can't complain. So looking at the income... Coming through here, Affiliate, AdSense, Ezoic, and Premium, it made a total of $171.01, and, and I didn't spend anything on the site. So this is site number seven, my uh, Tortoise Cashflow website, and I haven't really done anything to the site, and it's decreased by 31%, so from 45 to 31, and this is the search console. It looks like it's kind of growing a little bit, so I guess that looks good. I don't really promote the website too much and I don't really add content to it. It's mostly there to just so I have a website, a brandable website, and it also has a page for my keyword service. You can see the earnings here, made a total of 45 cents, didn't spend anything, so net income is 45 cents. So next is site eight that I bought a while ago and it had an 11% decrease in traffic, but you'll know this is the website that had a huge spike recently. It had a little spike here, came corrected, and then a huge spike. And like I said in my previous reports, that's from just one article, just I guess trending or doing good for some reason, but now it's coming back down to normal. So I don't think that's because of the update. I think that's just because it's correcting itself. I imagine it will come back down to these levels eventually. I earned, coming over here, $145.57. Had some articles on it that needed to be edited. I'm all caught up now on this site. So the net income was $75.57. Next is my gaming website, grindrage.com. I had a few articles on here, but I haven't really been adding anything else. 18% growth from 76 from 64. Here's the search console. Not really a whole lot happening with this site. And grindrage.com hasn't earned anything. So I have it on AdSense and I wasn't approved by the Google Ad Manager for Ezoic, but it was approved for AdSense, but it just doesn't get enough visitors. It hasn't really made anything. Next is the other site that I got that was around 12,000 and it had a slight decrease this month from 17,806 to 17,012. So not a big deal, 4.46%. And you can see the graph, it had a drop here in May. That was the May core update, but it's been going down slightly since then, but it's kind of flattened now, but it had another dip right here. You can see the lowest low. I have been adding a lot of content to this website, so I'm hoping by the end of the year this kicks up, but for now it's kind of just staying here. It's earning as much money as it was earning when I bought it, because when I bought it, 
it was supposed to be making around $400, increased all the way up to making $1,000, but now it's back down to making what it was making before, so it's still making $500, and you'll see I spent $2,191 this month. That's actually one of my writers has been adding content over the whole year, the past six months, but he hasn't been requesting payment, and he's finally sent the payment for the past six months so that's why the expenses are so high this month so the net income was negative two thousand forty and three cents and next is this other site that i got it's had a ten percent increase so you can see the search console it used to be all kind of crazy here for a while but now it seems to have settled down and it's staying around the 200 clicks per day level and looking pretty good and this site has earned $122.63. Now, real quick, before I go over the total income for the month, just want to shout out my keyword service. Come to tortoisecashflow.com, click on my keyword service, check out some reviews that people have made, and click this link down here. You can get five keywords for $15, 14 keywords for 40 and 25 keywords for 70 and I have been thinking about increasing these prices but I'm not sure when I'll do it yet I've seen other services and their prices are going up and I'm just kind of have a lot going on don't have a whole lot of time so I may need to bump these prices up a little bit to make it worth my time and there's also this patreon subscription that you can get first couple of options are basically just to support me but the last two are keyword subscriptions. You're basically getting keywords monthly at a super cheap price. If you're interested in getting a lot of keywords, this would be the best deal. So in August on Amazon affiliate, I made a total of $313.70 plus $6 in bounty. Here's the Amazon one link in total across all my Amazon accounts. I made 363 and 31, 26, 65 United Kingdom, 21, 35 Canada, 220 Spain, 47 cents Italy, 45 cents France, and I lost $7.50 from Germany. And AdSense, I made $456.90. On Fiverr, it says I made $100 here for my keywords. But then if I go to the funds actually cleared, I actually only made about $60. And that's just because a couple of them haven't cleared yet. And there's also the Fiverr fee applied here. So on Ezoic, you can see it's been going down ever since April, and in August it made a total of nine twenty-seven and eighty-eight cents. But you see, my visitors per month is one hundred and three thousand, so it's still the same amount that it was back here in April, where it made two thousand dollars. It's just the EPMV that has gone down. But if you take a look at the EPMV here, and then you get the Ezoic ad index see they look very similar so this is december and december it had a little spike and a drop and then it goes up goes up and up to here to april and then it had a dip a dip for me yeah so this is april april dip there and then a little spike all the way to june june and then a dip a dip and a little bump a little bump and then kind of going and then another dip another dip then a slight increase, slight increase. Pretty much at the whim of what advertisers want to spend, according to this, my EPMV is following this exactly. So it's nothing that I've done or can do. Just have to wait for the economy to get better and companies to want to spend more money. And this should go back up to 2000. But in the meantime, I'll just keep adding content to all my websites and try to get more traffic. And I also forgot to mention, I sold site number two last month for a total of 3330 and if I come up here I think I put it down yes site number two I didn't spend any to buy it because I made it from scratch its total expenses were 1311 and 32 cents it made 814 and 19 cents while I owned it I sold it for 3330 and the total profit was two thousand eight hundred and thirty two dollars and eighty seven cents almost a three thousand dollar profit on the site i think i worked on it for a few months and then let it sit i created it like two years ago not bad so the total income for this month including the sale of the site was 
$4,864.89. Take that, 4864.89. Add keyword service, which is $68, plus YouTube earnings, 485.39 minus 84 editors. So we're left with 405 and 39 cents. So our total earnings was 5,338 and 28 cents. And subtract our expenses, 3, 2, 5, 9, and 86 cents. Our total profit for this month was $2,078.42. And that's mostly because I sold that website. So comment down below how good your websites are doing. Have your sites been affected by the Google helpful update or are you doing pretty good and I'll just go ahead and leave a video right here it's a YouTube recommended video if you haven't seen that video yet check it out next thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one